Everybody. So today is a different type of Dollar Tree haul. This is going to be a book haul from Dollar Tree. So um, I didn't get all of this at once. These are from like um, a couple of different trips. Um, and let's just go ahead and get started. So let's start with the reading books, so to say. I'm going to put that to the side. So not all of these books are for me. Let me actually pull this up. These, um, some of these are for my nieces and nephew. Uh, so we'll get started with those. So I've got here this book called The Witching Hours, um, The Vampire Knife. Now when I buy books like this, I try to always get at least the first volume. If I see a book that looks really good but it's like volume three, not going to get it because what's the point? You need to read from the beginning first. So um, I got this because I'm pretty sure that one of my nieces will like it and then when my nephew, her brother, is old enough, he can read it too. Got this other one here called The Star, uh, the Star Thief. Um, this looked like it was a pretty good story, so definitely for their summer reading. And then I got this book, of course the first thing I thought of was um, <laughs> Clarissa because it's about, well, it's about a fox called Foxcraft the Taken and this is also a volume one just like the Star Thief is. Um, you know they always say don't judge a book by its cover but <laughs> all of these books I judged them by the cover and thought they were good but no I did read the uh, the inside here and um, it looks really good. In fact Clarissa I might have to go back and get you one of these because look at this. It's gorgeous with the foxes you know so you could make a um, junk journal out of this book if you wanted to. So we got those, so I got those three. Then I did get this book right here today, actually. Um, it seems like all of the Dollar Trees in Memphis have been getting shipments of books because pretty much, let me think, one, two, three, four, five. I went to five different Dollar Trees this week and all of them pretty much had gotten books. So there's still two more stores that I haven't gone to, but I don't know. We'll see if they have any books. I got this one, Song of the Blood and Stone. This is also a book one from uh, the Earth Singer Chronicles. Um, looks really good. And then I got this one right here, also I think a book one, called Rule. Three sisters, three deadly secrets, only one can wear the crown. So thought this would be interesting. And then I found this one also called Dream Strider. Um, I think this is also like a book one. Now, the thing with me and books is that um, I, I see people talking all the time online about how they've got a book list of these, you know, stacks of books that they try to, they're going to read and try to get done before the end of the year. Problem with me is that I devour books. I'll probably read this in one day um, within like know three or four hours I don't have kids so I don't have anybody disturbing me <laughs> um, from reading and like I'll just read it straight through I've done I've done it where if it's a really good book I'll end up staying up until four o'clock in the morning reading it and then I have to go to work at like eight so um, right now I'm just collecting these books so that I have something to read when the mood strikes me because like I said I will read them really fast and then I will read them again but a little bit slower um, because I've got a couple of other books, like my favorite authors, that I constantly reread over and over and over. You know. So, anyways, um, this one I found today. It's called um, "Every Monday Matters: How to Kick How to Kick Your Week Off with Passion, Purpose, and Positivity." Now, I didn't really buy this for myself, but I thought it was an interesting book. Um, I like the size of it, and I do like the pictures in it. And some of the stuff, you know, the little um, blurbs in here. Are pretty interesting. I mean, I could cut this book up, so I don't know. We'll see. I might read it and then decide if I'm going to cut it up or give it to somebody else. Found this one today also called My Little, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think this is Swedish. Uh, Likey? 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 I'm not sure. How to Be Happy by Finding the Good in the World. So it is a journal. It's one of those types that you have to fill in. If you can see here, let me make sure that it's um, in focus. So yeah, you just 
fill it in. Um, I don't know, I might give this as a gift to somebody. I thought it was really cute. I was like holding it at the register, like, do I keep it? Do I put it back? Eh, one dollar. Why not? Found this, um, Encyclope Encyclopedia of Me, My Life from A to Z, a guided journal. And it's like, a, like another one of those fill-in journals. Let's see, let me see, like for instance, uh, H, home. Hell, my idea uh, of hell, I guess. So you would just fill it all in, you know? And I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or I'm gonna give it away. Found this one today. Say bonjour to the lady, parenting from Paris to New York. Like I said, I don't have kids, so um, I got this for the illustrations. Which is really pretty. Yeah. And it's a really nice, um, it's really good quality paper too. published in 2015 but this also has a lot of pictures which could be cut out yeah it's just a fashion book and then this last book here <laughs> um, I saw this lady that was like looking at it and then she put it back there were two of them so if she had gotten one it wouldn't matter um, I'm not vegan nor do I plan on being vegan but there are some vegan ideas that I find very intriguing so I went ahead and picked this book up and I like, I mean, it's a really nice, you know, thick book. Um, this would be good for like a junk journal also if you tear it all up. So, but it's got a lot of interesting things in here to read. So I'm going to give it a go and read. Um, yeah. That's why I love buying books at Dollar Tree. I mean, they're a dollar and they get such an eclectic amount of books. There was one book that I probably should have gone ahead and bought, but I just, I don't know why I put it back. It was a small um, paperback and it was Necromancer by um, William Gibson, I think. Um, he is the one that wrote Johnny Mnemonic that starred Keanu Reeves. And he's also, I think, one of the influences for the writers, the creators of The Matrix. So I should have picked that one up. I don't know why I didn't, because I've never read it and I just kept wavering if I should or not. And then the last book we have here is a coloring book, which I thought was kind of funny. It's Forever Inspired Coloring Books, Tokyo Fashions. I don't know who drew this. I mean, it looks so juvenile in the way that it was drawn, but I thought it was really cute in terms of like, if I give this to my nieces to color. Yeah, like they could have done better in the way they illustrated. You know, like the very gothic Lolita here. Um, I just, come on. If you're gonna do Tokyo fashion, if you're gonna do anime, at least make an attempt to do a better job. I mean, that just, that just looks really bad. But and I can see why it ended up at the Dollar Tree, you know? So they had a bunch of them. I was thinking if I should get two, but I thought, nah, I'll just get one and then um, let my nieces color it if they want to. This was from um, 2016. So yeah, that's my book haul from the Dollar Tree. So. Um, I'll probably, I'll have another, definitely another separate, um, haul from the Dollar Tree, but I felt like the books warranted their own video because there's so many of them and I seem to be collecting more and more of them. Once the library fully reopens, there are a lot of paperback books that I've bought and I've read that, you know, they were good books, but I don't feel like I want to keep them. So I'm going to donate them to the library so that they can sell them at their book sales. Um, but like these hard, you know, these hardcover books are sometimes they're just hard for me to give up um, just because they don't fall apart, you know, like a paperback. So we'll see. I, I probably need to start putting them in a bin because they're just accumulating. But um, anyways, hope you all are having a good week and I'll see you on the next haul. Bye.